So welcome everyone. I am so excited to get us started tonight and to thank you very much for coming for a sneak peek of Santa Clara County's Vietnamese American Service Center. This gleaming building behind me is almost ready to open its doors and this is a culmination of years and years of work. And um, it started really in 2011, Supervisor, then Supervisor Dave Cortezzi asked for a health assessment of the Vietnamese American community. And we learned some things from that. We learned that Vietnamese American women had, were five times more likely to be diagnosed with cervical cancer that the Vietnamese American, than, than everybody else in our population, and that the Vietnamese American population had a higher rate of asthma than other Vietnamese, I mean, other Asian communities. And from that, what we really started to glean was that we needed a very specific approach to making sure that we could pe keep the Vietnamese American community healthy in our, in, um, our community. And that kicked off an incredible process of hundreds and hundreds of hours of community meetings to design what you see behind me. What you see behind me is a 37,000 square foot uh, building that's going to offer nutrition services, senior wellness programs, um, dental services, pharmacy, mental health screenings, and other kinds of health screenings, vaccinations. And people can come here to learn if they're eligible and get coverage for different kinds of assistance. There will be referrals available here, community events, and educational programming. I am delighted to get a chance to take you through it. We are doing the grand opening on Saturday with the community from noon to five, and we want to make sure that everybody knows they're welcome. Because in addition to this providing services for the Vietnamese American community, it will also provide services for people who live and work in this neighborhood that surrounds us. We wouldn't be here today without so many people, but one of those visionary leaders is with me um, today, and that's Senator Dave Cortezzi. And again, I want to emphasize that the, the, um, the health assessment that he kicked off really helped us imagine a better way to provide services uh, to the Vietnamese American community. And with that, I'm going to invite up Senator Dave Cortezzi. Thank you, Supervisor Chavez, and thank you all for being out here um, on this evening. And hopefully it's, it's uh, well worth being here to get a preview. I think it is. I've had the chance to see what's going on here for a long time and be in and out of the building a couple of times, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, after the fall of Saigon, as we know, thousands of Vietnamese refugees fled persecution and headed to the United States, but so many ended up here. Um, to our great fortune, when I say our great fortune, the great fortune of everyone in the community now and those who have been here for a couple generations uh, as uh, families, as immigrant families themselves. Today, over 30 years later, our county is home to the second largest Vietnamese American community in the country. And thanks to the hard work and partnership of countless leaders in the Vietnamese American community, county staff, uh, including project manager for this project, uh, Betty Young, as well as countless leaders in our Vietnamese American community, and Supervisor Chavez herself. Over the past 10 years, the Vietnamese American Service Center is now a reality here in Santa Clara County. The idea for this center stemmed from recommendations that came out of this Vietnamese American health assessment that you just heard about that Supervisor Chavez was referencing. And it is compelling. It was compelling the day it came out. Uh, it was actually sent in the first term of the Obama administration to the White House uh, Council on Health uh, because it was considered to be one of its kind, uh, one of a kind, and very, very important. Um, and I will say that it ended up triggering many other health assessments along demographic lines after that. It was the first one of its type um, uh, among any demographic group that we know of uh, in California, in the United States, or here in Santa Clara County. Um, but it also created a challenge because so many people rightfully in the community rightfully said, what is this, another study that's gonna sit on the shelf? What good does it do to know what our health assessment is if we're not gonna do anything about it? Um, what good is it to know what the strengths of the Vietnamese American community are in terms of, of health assessment? family values and such things if we're not going to do anything about it. 
And with that challenge, Supervisor Chavez came to me at the time. Uh, by now, we were colleagues on the Board of Supervisors, and she said, we must do something about it. Um, I think uh, we can secure the funding, millions of dollars in funding from the County of Santa Clara. She believed we could get the votes to do that from the Board of Supervisors, and she believed uh, that together with the community, um, we could design and implement and create um, this, this Vietnamese American Service Center, which would certainly be a community gathering place at some point, and it will, you will see that inside. There's the opportunity for that. But more importantly, it will create services delivered to the Vietnamese American community that will focus on these areas that she described, that the health assessment describes, um, and that will deliver to the Vietnamese American community here really after over 40 years, the same things that everyone else wants, but in a very specific way based on, on their needs. Educational services, safety net services, health services, even services with cancer screening like you heard. Uh, so with that, um, I want to uh, stop there um, in uh, re-emphasize my gratitude to all of you for your interest in all of this and to some of you when I look at the faces for your participation in the process that led to this beautiful beautiful place I hope for years and years to come you can come here or drive by here and say I was a part of that I was a part of creating that that's what community is all about thank you so much talk for a minute about the investment um, this building costs a little over 33 million to build um, we are finishing putting the finishing touches on furniture and all the insides that go into it and at its peak when it's when we're done with um, paying our bill to get everybody moved in there we'll be at about 50 million dollars and I thought that might be important both for you to understand how cost effective I think this is but also I want the community to understand the significant investment that's been made uh, from our from all of us uh, so with that um, B Betty uh, Young has played an incredible role in bringing us to where we are today and she's going to walk us through uh, how we're going to take our tour and be able to answer some more questions for you so Betty come on up hi everyone thank you so much for being here today we're going to start the tour um, entering the multi-purpose room at every stop along the way please stay with the group um, um, I will be providing um, some key points about where we're standing and what the purpose of each space is. Um, we ask that when we're inside the building, please keep your mask on. It is an active construction site, so please stay with the group um, and watch your footing. So uh, we'll get started right now. So please move this way. Thưa quý vị ơi, lúc mình vô tòa nhà đó, xin quý vị phải giữ khẩu trang vô. Thì lúc đó là Betty sẽ dẫn mọi người đi tour ha. Cảm ơn quý vị.